All of these lines I'm about to mention must run all day, every day, Monday to Sunday, 5am to 10pm, though I'm willing to compromise on a slightly narrower window of operation of 6am to 8pm. If the line has departures every 20 minutes or even more frequently, they can use what I call the Transjakarta style of operations without a set public schedule as long as there's live bus tracking. I'm willing to tolerate 30, 40, 45 or even 60 minute headways if they have a set public schedule that they actually follow and of course live bus tracking. I'll also use the Transjakarta line naming scheme but really any bus operator can run them and name their lines whatever they want. All I'm asking is semi-frequent all day service. Starting with the B lines, we have the B31 and B32. Both lines start in Vida Bekasi, crawling their way through Bantar Gebang Setu Road, through Cipendawa Bridge, Komsen Jatiasi Roundabout, before entering the highway bound for Jagorawi. These lines then split apart, with the B31 headed to Pasarubo and B32 headed to Cawang Central. Any attempt to extend the B31 to Ayan Tanjung Barat or Lebak Bulus is welcome, but I'm just mentioning the bare minimum here. Both lines should run every 20 off peak and 10 to 15 at peak hours. Based on my observations on the local angkot lines here, both of these lines don't interline too heavily with any angkot lines so the risk of conflict is somewhat low. This line takes advantage of the fact that Yati Asi has a lot of houses and has direct highway access. There are existing regional bus lines from here to Block M and Tanah Abang but they do not stop in Cawang Central, according to Google Maps. They also don't go to Vida. These two lines mainly serve people who have jobs a little bit closer to home. Plus Cawang Central has the massive Uki campus. Surely there are Uki students who live in Jatiasi. Next we have the B41. This line starts in the currently under construction Living Road Grand Wisata, entering the highway and terminating in Cawang. This line should run every 20 at peak and every 30 off peak. Yes, this corridor is already partially served by Sinar JS GR connection, but with only morning and evening departures, that doesn't really count as all day service. Just because a place is full of elite housing doesn't mean you have to cut that lease of transit once rush hour ends. How about the people who work in the soon to be completed mall, or the nearby water park, or the rows of shop houses and restaurants that line the main avenue that this passes through? Next we have the D12 and D13. This line starts in Terminal Depok, buses exit the terminal and make a couple of turns until reaching Jalan Raya Sawangan. From there, buses follow that road, picking up passengers along the way before reaching the Depok Antasari Highway. Upon reaching Cilandak, the D12 exits and cross along TV Simatupang before then terminating in the Bakbus MRT station. Meanwhile, the D13 continues north using the Block M Antasari flyover, exiting and terminating in Block M Terminal. Both lines should run every 10 to 15 minutes at peak and every 15 to 20 minutes off peak. This line starts in a bus terminal that has direct connections to the Bogor line, it crawls through Sawangan which is completely surrounded by houses, enters the highway and ends in, in TV Simatupang or Block M. Two areas with a lot of major trip generators like Fatmawati and Siloam hospitals, multiple malls like Cilandang Town Square and Block M Plaza, multiple offices like Gojek and the Metropolitan Tower, and direct access to Fatmawati, Lebak Bulus, and Block M MRT stations. Moving to the P lines, P stands for Pakuan aka Bogor, we have the P11. This line starts in Cibinong City Mall, gets on the highway, making a stop in Cibubur Junction before then making its final stop in Cawang Central BRT Shelter. On the way back, buses also stop in Buperta Cibubur. This line should run every 15 minutes at peak and every 30 off peak. There is the issue that this line conflicts with Kabupaten Bogor Angkot Line 8. The solution is to make very limited stops while in Cibinong, such as only stopping in Cibinong City Mall and just before the highway entrance. In a way, this is just a shortened but more time-flexible version of the GR connection line that goes from here to Plaza Senayan. The benefit of this line is that it connects a population-dense area that has a very big mall in it that is Cibinong with Cawang Central, the meeting point of multiple BRT lines and has offices and Uki campus nearby. Next, we have the P21. This line starts at the north end of Kota Wisata, passing by Living World Kota Wisata, entering the highway, momentarily exiting the highway in Cibubur Junction and Harjemukti LRT station before terminating in Cawang Central. This line runs every 15 minutes at peak and every 30 off peak. Kota Wisata is a residential area that currently only has tier connection lines and an LRT feeder line both with limited departures. Currently, the largest trip generator there is Living World Kota Wisata. 
a mall that unfortunately got sent to ETR in the mall tier list video due to a lack of transit. Moving to the S lines, we have the S15 connecting Intermoda BSD with the Lambar, running parallel to the S11, passing by Ion Mall, Cubic, Carstens, Pisa Grande, Mall SMS, entering Serpong Raya and the Jakarta Merak Toll Road before then stopping by Central Park and Jelambar. It runs every 20 off peak and every 10 to 15 minutes at peak. Every time I ride the S11 back home, it seems that one third of the passengers exit in Gading Serpong. What does this indicate? The potential for huge demand if there was a direct bus from Gading Serpong and West BSD all the way to Central Park Mall. It isn't just Gading and BSD residents commuting to Jakarta that this line is going to serve, but also people commuting into those two areas from Jakarta. I know several friends in university that do that. Now, I'm going to list all the major trip generators in the corridor from Gading Serpong's entrance all the way to Chisau. Sumarikon Mall Serpong, M-Town Apartments, the marketing offices of Sumarikon and Paramount, Matana University, Multimedia Nusantara University, Pradita University, Petsaida Hospital, the whole Pisa Grande area, Karsten Mall and Apartment, Cubic Mall, Wisma BCA Office, ICE, the largest convention center in Southeast Asia, Ion Mall, Parasatya Mulya University, and Chisau train station. It is a transportation planning mortal sin that all of these places have no frequent transit access. Meanwhile, the S16 is just the S14 extended to SMS and runs all day every 15 to 20 minutes. These two lines ideally should also serve local trips inside Gading Serpong and BSD. For example, you can use these two lines to go from Serpong M Town to Ion BSD. The S17 starts in Flavor Bliss Alam Sutra, going through Jalur Sutra Road, passing by Mall Alam Sutra and IKEA. The S18 starts in SDC, passing by SMS and entering Sorpong Raya. And the T13 starts in either Tang City or Metropolis Town Square and goes to Karawachi. All three of these lines then enter the highway, exit in Puri Indah, passing by Puri Indah Mall and Lipo Mall Puri, going through Puri Indah Raya and Kedoya Road, and ends besides Kebun Juruk Bus Shelter. On the way back, it goes through Taman Aris Road. All of these lines should run every 15 to 20 at peak and every 30 off peak. This line connects the residential areas of Tangerang with the Puri CBD, which contains multiple offices, three malls, and a hospital. Meanwhile, Kebun Jeruk contains offices and allows transfers to Corridor 8. The T13 has the added benefit of Karawachi's massive population density, while both the S17 and S18 connect to universities in Tangerang such as UMN, Bunda Mulia, and Binus. The S23 starts in BSD Plaza, passing by ITC BSD, Teras Kota, and Eka Hospital, enters the highway and exits in Pamulang. From there, it follows Ciputat's Juanda Road, stopping by UEN campus before terminating in Lebak Bulus. This line runs every 10 to 15 minutes all day. Currently, the only way to go from BSD to Ciputat is to use the Angkots. Angkots that go through some narrow congested roads and the whole experience is made worse with the lack of AC. This line should cut travel time from BSD to Ciputat from 60 to 90 minutes to about 30 to 40. The S32 starts in Graha Raya Family Club, following Graha Raya Bintaro Road and Bintaro Jaya Boulevard, stopping by Bintaro Exchange Mall, entering the highway and terminating in Lebak Bulus MRT Station. This line should run every 10 to 15 minutes all day. I'm sorry but in-trans buses are way too infrequent. Currently, they run around once an hour. Meanwhile, both Royal Trans and Glad Bus buses to the MRT only run at peak hours. The S32 connects Graha Raya, Bintaro, and Lebak Bulus with frequent all-day service. Last, we have the T14. It can start in either Tang City or Metropolis Town Square, goes to Tipondo Raya Road, and enters the highway, terminating at Pantai Maju. This line should run every 15 to 20 minutes all day. On weekends, though, it may be wise to run buses every 10 minutes. Like Puri, Pick is a mini CBD, just with less malls but more offices. On the weekends, this place is an absolute nightmare in terms of congestion. Currently, travel times from downtown Tangerang to Pick via public transport is around 2 to 3 hours due to the massive detour you will need to take to Grogol and Penjaringan. This line should cut travel times to around 30 to 50 minutes.